all the things going on around at the moment shows a level of scarcity and no one is going to deny the fact that things are really on the high side at the moment so and this is a great time whereby management of uh, all topics around this should be discussed it is not until maybe you have a lot of materials a lot of resources and you're trying to manage it or even less materials or less resources i think at any point in time management is always useful and the beauty of management and the beauty about management is that the earlier you understand this principle the better because it's going to help you a lot in managing things so today we'll be talking about management and rounding up management i want to specially welcome you to today's episode of clustered notes and this is where we actually talk about life issues and more of renewing the mind thinking about what we've been doing the reason why we do it and if there are things that we could improve on yes that is why we are here so that we can improve on these things and become a better person so uh for the past few weeks i've had chigo zero yebola and we talk about some topics around management and because they talked more about time management and it's so important to manage your time think about it there are times the day go by without doing anything and you seem busy that day but when you sit down and think about all that you've done for the day you realize that hmm, you've done little to nothing that day and the beauty of life is life can't in a way that's the two-year plan the three-year plan that you've had in mind has an effect with how you spend your day like you see the effect of what you've planned from how you're spending each day if i'm spending all my days watching movies and i want to be an accountant and i am not going to school there's little or nothing i will see in with that regard so more of what we want to achieve more of who we want to become is attached with our daily life but we tend not to actually take note of those things we just live our lives as nothing is attached to it and then we grow old we die and of course we need to be intentional about how we spend our lives how we we live and this is where time management comes in even when you have a lot of time when you sit down and look at it then you know okay what can i do with this time so this is one thing that we are sharing today just topics around management generally and then oyebola talked more about finances and i love what he talked about it's important at some point to save and beyond savings if you want to multiply your money you do not multiply your money through savings you multiply your money by investment but something that he, she also mentioned and was so powerful or profound to me is also a point of planning like you need to plan and of course up where came around talking about relationships and i believe when it comes to relationships the quality of people you move with is very very important even beyond quantity i'm not the one that would say discard all your old friends discard everybody and then go for the quality people but just know the place of everyone in your life and then be intentional when it comes to people that you have in your close circle so even now talking about this generally and looking at this from a broader perspective when it comes to f- uh, management we can look at different things in management you can always look at career you can look at uh, uh family maybe the under relationship you can look at your finances you can look at your health and other things uh, which is numerous but beyond that there is a particular principle and if we say we should continue to go through all these things one after the other we might not be able to exhaust it but there is a basic principle to any of these things when it comes to improving something or managing a particular situation which i will say it's more f- planning and i believe it was mentioned categorically in previous episodes but i will just uh cap it up and i'll share my thoughts around planning you know the beauty of planning is 
you you write out things and you make plans as to future it creates this awareness that you are intentional about achieving that thing there are times you have all your plans or your achievements up here in your head and you notice let me say for instance okay you've planned to do some things today and then you just notice you spend so much time on youtube that you have little time to do what you've planned on doing or you spend a lot of time on instagram or social media or even chatting with someone but you had plans to do some things but because you've never written it down you've never planned it how it's going to go you might not be able to caution yourself at some point because you haven't created that awareness i think writing down shows a level of intentionality when it comes to what you want to do and this is so important right writing down shows a level of intentionality so how intentional are you how intentional are you about achieving these goals and it creates this awareness also when it comes to health have you written down how your eating habits what is really causing and when you write it down you you can see the brighter picture i think i had that issue sometimes about sometimes ago with my finances you know i was spending recklessly and it got to a point where i had to call myself to order i wrote it down i looked at the statement of account and everything how am i really spending this money and i could see where the loopholes are coming when you write down it is actually the first step to intentionality then it comes to a point of even taking actions as regards what you've written down now i think most times we complain and we say this is always the issue i write things down and i do not achieve those things now there is also a position and i will still share a video around this because there are times you can write out plans you can write out goals that you want to achieve uh in relation to something and you might not even achieve that i think i i, I stumbled on one of my goals a 10 year goal actually so i've only spent four years in out of the 10 years because i wrote the goals out in 2018 but something that was actually funny to me is or not so funny actually something that i noticed from what i wrote uh, what i had done was that i have not achieved most of those goals in fact when i looked at it i noticed that there were gaps in those goals and what i'm actually f- doing right now or what i found myself doing is actually not totally in line with the goals i've written down and then the question comes even when we write things down do we necessarily achieve some of the things that we've written down absolutely not not in all cases do you achieve what you've written down of course the major aim is for you to achieve and it's very great when you achieve what you've written down and i think chigoze said something in relation to that that uh she has achieved almost all the goals she 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 wrote down for the month for the year sorry and she has achieved most most of the goals and so there is a position of intentionality but going back to the, the goals i've written i wrote down in 2018 i can say that though i haven't achieved something in that line i've actually achieved something greater that even some of those goals that i've planned there will be another video to show you those goals some of those goals that i've planned my actually now come easier based on the things i've achieved right now i think the the major reason for planning is just to put things into shape and see how you can go with those things that you've written down so it is so important that the particular thing you want to change the particular thing you want to see better results you know because sometimes we claim that things are scarce but we are not even managing what we have right uh, properly you know just like it's so easy you know even with money to you're not spending a right you're not even uh cautious of all your spendings and then you're thinking of having savings and then having investment when you don't invest your money you don't expect it to multiply and then when you have not managed you the one you have properly you can't even think of saving uh, as little as it can be or even it is even less imagine what you're spending is not even enough now when you can't even beyond that means at that moment you don't even think of 
getting more or improving what i'm saying is what you have at this moment manage it properly manage it in the right way just like your time as well when you look at the time am i really busy with something productive or i'm just busy all in the name of being busy when you look at those things very well you will be able to decide and see that okay are there things i can delegate especially if you're in that position that you can delegate are there things that I have to do on my own. I have to get results by doing it myself. So when you ask such questions, and you can only ask such questions by planning. When you do proper planning, when you write things out, when you write out goals, you achieve more. So, and once you write it down, check it out. What can I do right now? What can I do today to make me very close to that goals? Even after writing the bigger goals the greater pictures how can i take those small small steps to achieve what i've written down and i believe this definitely will go a long way when you're trying to manage when you're trying to manage people to write it down what is my main aim when it comes to that especially when you're leading a set of people if you're a manager what is my main aim what do we what do i want us to achieve and when you can see that okay we need to achieve this that is when you can always follow through that okay it affects the way you really do that and even relationships managing relationships building relationships you can see where is my life heading heading to what do i really want for my life and when you can see that picture you know okay who are the set of people that can help me in achieving this you know it is just intentionality it is just being intentional you know i've already seen people who are not really capable of doing a lot for themselves but they've surrounded themselves with great relationships that they are a force to reckon with actually and when you really ask them what they are capable of doing they're not really capable of doing a lot but they are so smart enough to be intentional when it comes to relationship and when it comes to health too when you write it down that is when you will be able to see what is my eating a bit like am i really eating well okay then i want to lose weight i want to hard gain weight how can i go about it how have i been eating what can i improve or all that or i want to stay healthy how do i make sure that i stay healthy so the summary of the whole story is that be intentional write it out plan it well and i believe you're going to see results when it comes to that thank you for joining me on this series and uh the bonus one one that i said i'll add um just expect the video and that's on planning generally do you get results on everything that you've planned out or do you see it coming to pass absolutely not how can you actually walk around such and how can you improve such if there is a need to improve you know we are all work in progress and we get better in what we do actually so thank you for joining remember to put this into action take time take some minutes off of this social media as soon as you're done with it and then write things out what do i really want to see a change in write them down and see how you can actually improve that i stumbled on a post yesterday and i noticed that the person said something in line with um we want to be a better person we want to achieve more but we are not doing anything differently do you think you can really achieve more with that by not doing anything differently that's a great question to ask so spend more time and think about it i'm not even saying you should do anything differently right now just write down what you you're doing write down how you do anything you want to improve anything you want to manage well write it down what do i have right now what am i doing right what am i doing wrongly and see how you can improve that i hope this actually uh helped and if it's helped i'll suggest and appreciate if you can subscribe like the video and also share thank you for joining and see you in the next video or audio as the case may be if you're following my podcast thank you and bye for now